All right, I'm going to show you how to do a George Orr swirl. This type of fluting George Orr did. Down in Biloxi, Mississippi. I saw some of his pots and I thought, I got to try to do this. Well, there was no instructional video. The guy was, you know, he's been dead for over 100 years. So I had to look at his pots and just basically break them down, tear them apart. Try to figure out how he did it. It took me about 500 balls of clay to get it to where I could make this swirl without without the whole pot collapsing. Just center it up. I kind of do his little base. You gotta get it real thin when you do a drawer drawer. Try that. What I'll do is I'll take a pencil. Hopefully it's a nice soft eraser, but it's not. Um, just take move the pot really, really slow. And then just poke it in the thin spot. You want them to come out nice and even too. Yeah. 
and then you get a little I do a little choke. When I, when I collar it, what I like to do is wipe my hands off a little bit. Gives it a little more friction. And then just collar it. Before I do that, I gotta go inside and get the water off. Without killing it. Alright, now just kind of wrap your hands around the collar and just twist them. And hopefully, all twist evenly. Nope, but you get the idea. That's the little swirl. And it never comes out the exact same, trust me. That's what's kind of fun about it. I could just leave it like this. Kind of like that, and then I can just finish up the top now. Notice it's really uneven, so you gotta go slow. Try to even it out a little bit anyway. I'll probably use this as a raku piece. Always looks nice as a raku fire pot. Trim it up, take it off. George always had the he always had the wider foot at the bottom too, a little pedestal at the bottom. To do that, you gotta just kind of trim it and just like a, I just keep playing with it until I get it right. Take it off, smooth it off, take it off. See how that's ugly. Thanks for watching.